Which fictional character had the best character development in your opinion? Share 12K10K12K K comments sorted by best leave a comment. He's a lucky free 13-7H I'm going with Spike from my favorite show Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He started out all evil and cold hearted but then became empathetic and saved the world. 215 reply. Bridas Angle 5H Spike fights demons to get his soul back. That shows how much he's matured emotionally. Angel got his soul back as a punishment. No other vampires had the balls to deal with their souls again. 70 reply. One more reply. Madman 841H I love the episodes where we learn more about his backstory. We find out he was just a dorky poet who took care of his mom and was ridiculed among his peers because he wore his heart on his sleeve. Drusilla turns him and he loses his soul, but he becomes 100% devoted to her crazy ass and the first thing he thinks to do is turn his mom to save her from her illness. Vampman does a number on him by saying she never loved him so he dusts her. Spends his own life pouring his whole heart into Drew and relishing the thrill of a good fight. Contrast this with Darlie and Angelus who delight in tormenting the helpless. Spike is all about overcoming the challenge, so much so that he actively seeks out Slayers, the one thing that's set up specifically to kill his kind, and he takes out to like a boss. Flash forward to show days, and even as the villain, he decides to help Buffy save the world, because well, he likes the world. Then, he gets neutered by the microchip, joins the Scooby gang, and falls in love with Buffy. Fifth season Spike is interesting because in turning his devotion toward her, he starts to see things through her perspective a bit, and realizes his lack of a soul makes him a monster. Season 6, she comes back from the dead and starts banging him whilst working through some dark shit that he doesn't have any of the emotional tools to understand. He later tries to rape her, which is a super dark moment, but unlike Game of Thrones, the show doesn't excuse it. We recognize, and Spike himself recognizes, that his soullessness makes his whole version of love an entirely selfish pursuit and makes him capable of horrific things. He's unequivocally still a bad guy despite all of the good things he has done and all of the ways he has won us over. But crucially, he somehow realizes this and chooses the torment of becoming a good person, not necessarily because of his feelings for Buffy, but because of his revulsion with his own actions as seen through her eyes. Yeah, his progression is so good. I haven't watched the show for years, but all that still sticks with me. 49 reply. BDP19 Gordon 1H I 100% agree with all of your comment. I believe Spike often has the highest emotional intelligence of the lot of them. He was the one who realized Willow was not coping with her grief after us left. He and Faith were the only ones who picked up on Terry and Willow's relationship before they came out, and I know there are more examples I just can't think of them right now. 10 reply. Futile fear and folly 1H then in season 3 after Angel comes back, he and Buffy are acting like everything can be okay. And Spike says, you're not friends. You'll never be friends. You'll be in love till it kills you both. You'll fight, and you'll shag, and you'll hate each other till it makes you quiver, but you'll never be friends. Love isn't brains, children, it's blood blood screaming inside you to work its will. I may be love's bitch, but at least I'm man enough to admit it. One of my favorite lines from the show. I love Spike. 14 reply. One more reply, one more reply. Snatch pastry 3H and he knows the trick for making a blooming onion work. But if you tell anyone he told you, he'll kill you. 19 reply. AAAVVBB2H you guys. You guys are my people. 16 reply. DJSEALE1H Spike has some great character development.